गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड लेसन नंबर फाइव स्प्रेडशीट एंड इंट्रोडक्शन एंड लेसन नंबर सिक्स मोर ऑन स्प्रेडशीट एंड इन दीज टू चैप्टर्स वी हैव डन स्प्रेडशीट सॉफ्टवेयर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल टूडे वी विल क्रिएट अ प्रोजेक्ट बाय यूजिंग द टॉपिक्स डिस्कस्ड इन दीज टू चैप्टर्स The project is on page number seventy-nine, and the project is: You are a member of the cultural club of your school. Next week, an inter-house declamation contest is going to be held, which is categorized in two groups. Each house should have two participants in each group. The teacher has asked you to create the result sheets for judges with the following fields. and the fields are introduction contents pronunciation modulation pauses body language confidence and closing prepare the sheet by applying the required phonetic effects and calculate the result so students let's suppose you have four houses in your school and you have to take Two to students from each house, and the heading of the topic is an inter-house declamation contest. Now let's see how to do. First of all, I am writing heading. Inter-house declamation contest. After this, we have to write eight fields that they have given for creating a sheet. See, students, I have written the eight fields, but the names of these fields are not properly visible on the sheet. So, I will set the size of the column by changing the column width, and you can set the size. firstly by selecting that particular columns like i am selecting from column a click on the column header till column j now these columns are selected now click on the right side of the cell when double headed arrow is appear drag it according to the requirement see the size of the columns has been changed now students you can see there is a blank space in between our worksheet if you want to delete that blank space or that blank column just click on the column header go to the delete button in the home tab click on delete sheet columns option the column is deleted from the worksheet students we always give a heading in the center of the page but our heart heading is at the left side of the page i want to place it on the center what i will do i will use merge and center button select the columns or cells till which cell you want to merge it go to the merge and center button see the heading is displayed in the center of the worksheet and now next work is to write the names of the houses and let's suppose in your school you have four houses and each house name is depicted with the color's name red house leave three or four rows for writing the names and marks of students green house blue house and last is yellow house next work is write the names of the student but for writing the name of student we have not left space on the left side of the sheet now i want to insert a new column for writing the names and numbers what i will do i will insert two new column at the left side of the data 
Now click on the column header where you want to insert. Go to the insert sheet column. One more I want. Again go to the insert insert sheet column. Two columns are inserted on the left side of the sheet. Now I have written the names of student and given number to them. But these names are also not coming in one cells. You can change the column height by clicking on this side. Now next you have to perform some form matching effect on this sheet to make it attractive. First of all, I'll change the color and change the size of the font. Select the sheet, change the size. I'm taking number 14, make it bold, change the color of heading, take this color, change its color also, red house, you can take red color, green house, green color, blue house, blue color and yellow house, yellow color. So our formatting is completed. Now the last step is to enter the numbers of the students according to the performance. So students, I have entered the marks of the students according to their performance. Now the last step is to perform the total. How can we perform the total? By using the auto sum function from the home tab that is in editing group. Just click on the cell where you find out the total here and go to the auto sum button. Now here press the enter key. The output will be visible on the screen. In the next cell also, you can perform the same steps. See, I have taken out the total of every student of house. So students, I have created a group one in this video. But according to the question, you have to create two group of each house. So you can take a help of this video for creating group two. But in group two only, you have to change the names of students. Rest of the format is same. Thank you.